Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be finding out which birth month is the GOAT in the NHL. Now the requirements to be added to the team is that you must be born in that month. I know, crazy, right? And you must have played at least one game in the NHL this season. There was only one case, I think it might have been October, where they only had one goalie. So I basically just gave them a 54, 56 overall goalie or something from free agency. So that's going to be a struggle for them. I'm pretty sure it was whatever team Bobrovsky was on. So Bobrovsky, he's going to be in for one this year. He's probably going to play the whole season. Or now that I think about it, more likely they'll just call up whatever their AHL goalie is. Well, didn't think about that. Oh, well, it's still... Not going to be a great goalie. Oh, the, they better not sign free agents. I just thought about that. Oh, well, there's not much I can really do. Obviously, most of these teams are not going to want to sign free agents because they are stacked. So I'm going to take the Ajax April, which happens to be my birth month. And obviously, I'm not going to touch the lines. I'm going to do best lines and I'm going to turn off CPU trades. And not trade myself, of course. The only team not to crack the 90 overall mark is September. I'm not sure why it gives me division realignment when... There ain't no divisions. Maybe it was September then that had Bobrovsky. I can't remember. However, we will be finding out soon. So I'm going to turn CPU trades off. And what is this? If on is selected, the pool of players for the fantasy draft will include... Oh, interesting. Wait, hold on. That's new. That has to be new. Because I just realized when you do the original six, it only allows you to choose players from the original six. If you turn this on, it gives you everybody. Those teams would be stacked. Well, I think the only thing I want on here is the head coach. Actually, no, I don't even want you to do that because I'm just going to do best lines and run it. Injuries are going to be off, so we don't have to worry about that. And again, the only thing we might have to worry about is that one team bringing up their AHL goalie or signing a free agent goalie, which I don't think we... Why is it always reset to semi-pro? I don't understand that. I mean, again, doesn't matter if you're simulating, but it's still annoying. Get out of here. Are you sure you would like to start your career? No, you're right. Cancel. Never. I'm not ready yet. Hold on. Just kidding. Jabroni, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go ahead, jump in, look at these teams, and get the simulation going. I will start off with the Avril, where we have Kirill the Thrill playing with Zabenejad and Patrick Line. That's very solid. We got Pavel with Drake and Chris. Very good second line. Mangiapane playing with Horvat and Smith. And then our third line, or fourth line, sorry. You know, math is hard. Is a dash one. Not great. Defensively, our team has Rasmus and Latang. We got Moritz with Krug. Gostas Bear with Montour, who deserves an overall bump. He's been playing phenomenal. And in the cage, we got You See What I See, backed up by Tristan Jari. Okay, let's go look at some of the other teams. I'll try to sort it so that it goes by month, you know, in order. January has Jeru McDavid and Gold Caulfield. And then they got Nico playing with Matt and Tyler on their second line. I don't know why... I'm just going first names on the second line, but anyway. Defensively, they have Shabbat and Carlson, Petrangelo, Lindholm, and then Mackenzie Wieger playing with Noah Dobson. So they're pretty good on defense, and in net, they got Markstrom. Very shutdown team. For February, we have Samsonov and Vili Huso as the goaltender tandem. Their first line will consist of Ehlers, Stamkos, and Seth Jarvis. And then they got Besser, O'Reilly, and Burakovsky. I feel like I just broke a rule by not using their first name. Defensively, they got Taze and Fox. That's going to be deadly. And then Nurse and Ekblad as the second pair. Holy smokes. In March, we have JT Miller, Braden Point, and Andre Svechnikov. A very stacked first line. Zegris with Shifley and Raymond will be the second and I'm only reading the third line because Nachushkin is there and he's sick. Defensively there's not a whole lot of abilities going on here. They got Riley and Brent Burns, Falk and Morrissey as their top four. Shea will be an 83 overall on the third pair which is good but you know not ideal. Andrew is like sort of a typical third line defenseman. Not the strongest for goalies as they have Reimer and Connor Ingram. Whoever the GM for May is decided that they want to put Connor Hellebuck in over Kemper for the opening contest. Bold strategy, but all right. Oh my word, they are stacked. They've got Marner, Barzell, and Pass. Like the fact that they have Kairu on their fourth line just says a lot. This line is gonna do bits. And so will this one because they're a second line. This third line is just dumb. Defensively, they have Slavin playing with Carlson, Pareko, and Ekholm, Gerard, and Lindell. Very stacked. For June, we have Schwartz, Huberdeau, and Kucherov. So these two are definitely gonna do well together. Their second line will be Dubois, Barabanov, and Hyman. So not one of the stronger looking teams. They're quite good defensively though with Yossi and Hamill 
Hamilton, and then they got Byram, Sergachev, McDonough, and Bean. To me, it's so weird that McDonough's 85 overall and has five abilities, and then Dougie Hamilton is 88 and has literally none. Havel will be the starting goalie for June, and then they got Gustafson as the backup. July is stacked for goalies. They got Vazzy and Gibson, and that's not even showing the scratch tendies. Offensively, they have Clayton Keller, Malkin, and Robert Thomas as their first line. Sebastian Ajo playing with Robertson and Fiala on the second. This third line, I think, might be the best one we've seen yet. Defensively, they've got Miro playing with Pionk, Barry Wierenski, and OEL playing with Martinez. Let's see what August has, shall we? Goudreau playing with Sidney the Kidney and Nicholas Suzuki. They've got Voracek, Kopitar, and Forsberg as their second line. Very solid indeed. Hagel, Verhage, and Wheeler. They have a good team. Defensively, it will be Theodore playing alongside Klingberg, Severson with Pelik, and then Olimata and Boakvist. Ilyas Sorokin will have the starting role. Karahat will be the backup. Okay, maybe Maybe it wasn't Bobrovsky then, unless they did pick up Copley from somewhere, which could have happened. But anyway, Bobrovsky will be the starter at 88 overall. Oh yes, this is the team that had very good offense. They have Matthews, McKinnon, and Ovi on the first line, Troy, Terry, Barkov, and Zuccarello on the second line, Kachuk, Kempe, Taravainen, Tavares as the third line, set or fourth line. Why do I keep getting that wrong? It's really not that hard. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because I was sort of building the teams incrementally because I didn't want to do it all at once. It was very tiresome. And I built this team today. I remember that defensively, they were not great, but offensively, look out. October is also quite stacked in the offensive category. They got Panarin, Dreisaitl, and Rantanen as their first line. That will do work. Gensel, Eichel, and Timo on the second line. Tage with Kadri and Lundell. Solid fourth line as well. Defensively, they've got Quinn and Kale. Great pair. Freddie Anderson will be the goalie, backed up by Cal. November has Flower and Swayman in the cage. Rupe hits Hurdle and Kane make up the first line. Zadina, Reinhardt, and Pedersen make up the second line. Not really sure why Taylor Hall's on the fourth line, but they have Matty Beneers on the third line, so I think their owner is unaware of the whole one-year simulation thing. Defensively, an 82 overall on the first pair. That might be... The worst we've seen yet. Actually, no, I think there was an 81 in September, possibly. Last but not least, we have the Denver December. Kachuk, Lindholm, and Debrinkat on the first line. Very solid. Terra Sank show with Stasny and Connor. Not sure why Gord isn't up here, but whatever. I'm not the owner of this team. Oshi will be playing with Gord and Ayafalo, however, on the third line. Defensively, they have Hedman and Doughty playing together. So that is a great pairing. Fowler and Petrie and then Tanev with Alexiak. They have Shesterkin and Thatcher Demko. That is a deadly duo. So based on that, who do you think is going to win? I gotta go with April. I have to. I mean, statistically, they might not be the best, but I gotta cheer for my month, you know? Is your team's month any good? Let me know. I just clocked that I said, is your team's month any good? Why is English so hard for me, especially when I'm making videos. I don't get it. Well, trades are off, so the trade deadline does not matter one bit. We are off to a pretty decent start here. When you, when you remove teams, it simulates so much faster. It's crazy. Also, I've just given up at this point. I just can't speak English today, which is not a change from any other day. January is in first, followed by October. Yo, there is no way. There is no way. I turned trades off. Why are you trading? Okay, it is off. So maybe they can only trade with me. Oh yeah, okay, so we're all good. That scared me for a second. I was about to be all kinds of upset. I think it only let me put the top eight teams in the playoffs as well. So April might not even be a playoff team. We will have to see. Just don't finish last, April. That's all I ask. Please do not finish last. We did not end up qualifying. October finished with 100 points and so did January. March came in third with 98. And let's see, which teams did not make it? So it was August. August, April, September, and November. We got 62 points from... I don't know why they did so bad. I don't get it. But it is what it is. Saros did all right. 908. Can't complain. Latang put up 50. Again, not too shabby. Malkin led the league with 95 points. No one broke 100. Marner had 89. Passed it with 87. McDusty only put up 85, which I am shocked by. It's almost like there was too much talent on just those 12 teams that... He got shut down. Or maybe because there were so many good players, the ice time was spread out more evenly. Could also be a factor. Pavel put up 37 Ws. He had a 909 save percentage. I got a 918 here from Freddy and a 914 from Jim. 
Didn't see that coming. John Carlson led defenseman with 63 points, and then we have 60 apiece from both Dougie and Quinn. Kale McCarr put up 54. Let's simulate the playoffs and find out which month is the ultimate month in terms of NHL. And I mean, it's an NHL 23 sim, so I wouldn't say that this is definitively what you should go by, but it turns out that the Denver December take it home. Pasta had 16 points in 18 playoff games. He was a plus 16 and a 20.3 shooting percentage. Was this their first line? Barzell, Marner, and Pasta? Possibly. December had four players in a row here. Connor, Kachuk, Lindholm, and ADB. Ah, they had Igor. How could I forget? And I believe that Thatcher Demko was his backup, which is just absolute insanity. He put up a 921 save percentage. Kemper had a 958, but he only came in for one game. Victor Hedman led defenseman with 14 points in 17 playoff games. Drew Doughty had 11, and then Dougie Hamilton had 9. A trio of sevens. So there you have it. Denver took the Stanley Cup, and October took the President's Trophy. Malkin gets the Art Ross, but Marner will get the heart. Quinn Hughes takes home the Norris. I love how it's taking a second to load the logo. I don't know why I find that funny, but it just is. Marner gets the Lady Bing. The Calder goes to Maddie Beneers. The Con Smythe will be headed to Kachuk. Freddie Anderson gets the Vesna. However, the William Jennings will go to James Reimer. Dylan gets the Masterton. Hackett gets the Jack Adams. O'Reilly will be winning the Selkie. Marner gets the Lindsay, and the Rocket Richard goes to Pasta. Well, there you have it. There's your playoff tree. How did your birth month do? Did they succeed or did they fail? Because in my case, we didn't do so hot. But regardless, I still had a good time with that one. And I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you have any video ideas or draft ideas, anything, or all of the above, go ahead, leave them in the comments down below. I always appreciate you guys weighing in as I do get some of my best ideas from you. But on that note, folks, I will see you soon.